Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here with me and Winston. Y'all, today was an exciting day because it was our joint photo shoot for a pet boutique located in Scottsdale, Arizona, as well as Arizona Foothills Magazine. Now, Winston has five years of professional modeling experience, so he is incredibly comfortable being at a studio in front of cameras. This was a smaller studio than we're used to with a crew of two, and he's used to being in front of a ton of cameras and people, so he did really well, and he was very comfortable. Yes, Winston was a PetSmart model for five years. He was recruited by a pet talent agency back in 2014. Winston has had an agent and a manager before, Yes, my little boy is an absolute professional. So I am going to just show you behind the scenes footage of us. And a lot of this footage is in two times speed. Otherwise, it'd be a very long video. So I will talk you through and I hope that you enjoy. I was struggling with what to wear for this photo shoot because let's be honest, most of the time I dress like a van lifer or a homeless man. So Lori told me that she wanted me to be myself. And what does be myself mean? That means dress like a hippie. So I did, but I did wear some jewelry and at least I washed my hair. Winston was dressed in a super cute leather collar as well as a rainbow uh, bow tie type of thing, if you will. It was super cute. Lori wanted him in it because these are items that are actually sold at the pet boutique in Scottsdale, but the colors and the rainbow really represented who we are as a dog mom and doggo. I really wanted Winston to be the focus of this photo shoot, of course. I was a model many, many years ago, but I was much younger and thinner, so I wasn't as comfortable as Winston was in front of the camera, but he made me look good, and he's so much fun. The photographer was amazing. You could tell that he was very well versed in working with dogs, but again, they were impressed with Winston's professionalism in front of the camera because he's used to this. At this point in the shoot, I had to get on the floor and y'all, I was like, oh my gosh, I am like way too old for this. <laughs> I kind of struggled to get up off the floor afterwards, but Lori and the photographer were giving us direction on how they wanted us, where they wanted us to sit lay, uh, whatever. Again, I was kind of anxious about being in the photos myself, but Winston is so much better at this than I am, so I kind of just followed his lead. We also got to see the pictures right after we did the photo shoot, and oh my gosh, he's just the cutest, best boy. Such a good listener, so good with all of the flashing lights. And I loved this portion of things because we got a lot of pictures of him giving me kisses. As you can see, he listened to direction really well, watched for my cues, uh, my verbal and physical cues. And I'm happy with how my outfit ended up. Lori, you know, fixed my hair and kind of helped me pose and helped get Winston's outfit adjusted. But I was happy with um, the pants that I ended up wearing and so was Lori because she felt like they really represented who I am as a dog mom and a woman and a van lifer. I can't wait to actually show you these pictures of me looking forward and Winston looking at the camera. They turned out so precious. This part of the video is not slowed down. This is real time. And in a couple of weeks, I will actually get the entire gallery of all the photos we took today. I'm not sure which ones they will choose for the magazine or the social media of the pet boutique, 
but whatever they choose I'll be happy with as long as Winston is looking his best which let's be honest that's all the time <laughs> but he was such a best boy look at how well he just sits there and I'm really grateful that Lori allowed me to put my tripod up in the corner to capture some footage for YouTube. Of course, she knows that I'm a full-time YouTuber, so when we used to do modeling for PetSmart, I wasn't allowed to show anything behind the scenes whatsoever. We were under contract, and everything that Winston modeled for PetSmart happened months and months in advance, so I was not allowed to even disclose what the photo shoots were. So it was really neat that I got to set up my camera and take some footage. This shot was kind of fun because they really wanted like that 70s vibe going on with my hand on my hip and <laughs> uh, I felt kind of silly but they were digging it and Winston looked amazing in his little yellow collar. The photographer had a blast uh, photographing Winston just because he did so well and not many dogs are used to this type of environment but it was very clear that Winston knew what he was doing even around strangers with flashing lights and cameras <laughs> he didn't even want to take treats because he was working and he was like if mom's not giving me treats, I am busy. We have work to do. We have stuff to do. But the photographer was, again, telling me where to put my feet and my hands and how to pose. I definitely needed help with that. Sometimes Winston would put his ears down, but they went up very quickly for the cute pictures. The photo shoot lasted, well, it was pretty, I think it was around 45 minutes, but we got so much done in that short period of time because Winston is such a natural in front of the camera. It didn't take a ton of direction or breaks to get him where they wanted him for the photos. And, and during these shots, I they wanted him to look up at me a little bit. <laughs> I was asking him if he wanted to go on a trip in the van. He was like, oh, what? Want to go in the van on a trip? Of course I do, Mom. It's one way to get his attention. This series of photos actually might be my favorite because it was just the back of me and Winston kind of looking over my shoulder, over my arm. And in the photos, you perfectly see the rainbow that was on his collar and his absolutely magnificent little face. I will be showing all the photos to you guys when they come out, kind of, you know, two to five photos at a time. We got this opportunity because Lori, the owner of the pet boutique, has actually been following me on Facebook and Instagram for many years now, and we had never met in person. But she was impressed after all these years of how well Winston photographs. So she chose us to be a part of this wonderful campaign and she was so sweet and so kind it was so much fun to work with her and again the photographer was amazing he was talented he was great with Winston but Winston made it easy on all of us because he's just the best boy ever this was the last series of photos for the shoot you can see his little rainbow on the collar there pretty well and then at the very end here, we got some photos of all of us with, uh, you know, Lori, Winston, and me. And it was so, so special. Thank you for tuning in to see this behind the scenes footage of our magazine shoot. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. You'll see the photos soon. I'll see you next time.